us to the next step, which is pre-processing of our audio file. So here we have something called audio file and our audio file uh, type, I mean the data type of this audio file matters when you when you want to put it inside the function. So it has to be an audio data, not a regular audio file. So what we will do is let's go ahead and copy this part. I will go ahead and take out this line and then data. Yep, okay. So we can see that the audio type is audio file. Well, but for this function to run properly, we need to convert our audio data type to audio data. So how can we do that? We will use a function called record, I mean an, a method called record. Let's copy that. This will help us to convert our audio file to audio data format. So let me copy that. I will go ahead and run this line. And then yep, as you can see. Now let's check the audio type, the data type. All right, so as you can see, we have just converted the data type from audio file to audio data. So now we can run the recognizer. So this is actually the recognizer function. So I will go ahead, put that and save this as result and run this line. It's recognizing the speech and then let's see what's our result. Yep, as you can see, uh, it, it has misrecognized the first word, which was ons, ons open time, there was a cat in the middle of the garden, the cat was so quiet. Yeah, so we just have one word mistake, other than that it looks good. So, so we have just did uh, recognition using an audio file. So what else we have over here? I mentioned the record method. There's two, two parameters that you can use to make things work better. So one of them is called duration, the other one is called offset. I will show you how that works. So we will be going with this line. I will just paste that. And then, mm, no, sorry, we will go with this line. Let's paste that. Okay. Let's. Right. Here we go. Here we can choose the duration of how long we want we want to record. Let's say if you want the first seven seconds, our parameter it's gonna take the flat value seven. So let's say we want the first five seconds. I will run that. I 
Oh, since audio file was okay, I have to go ahead. Let's rename our audio file to something different. Let's do this. Okay. Well, yeah, it was it was mixing with the previous audio file. That's why I have renamed it. Let's go. Yeah, time there was. So it gets the first five seconds of the audio. Perfect. Now let's do an example of the offset. So let's say we want we don't want to see this first word. So we will go ahead copy that, paste that, offset, and then, so let's say it's in the first two seconds, I will just delete the first two seconds and then start the recognition. So let's run this line, perfect, let's print up in the time there was a cat as you can see using offset value it actually recognized this word properly up in the time there was a cat once upon so it has recognized the word yeah perfect lastly we have this uh, bonus step so here we are working with a silent audio and we want it to we don't want it to return an error message that's why we are adding this show all so this is actually pretty cool you can still use it over here it's gonna go under here. So let's see what happens if we add show all. Yep, as you can see here, we can see the different dictionaries, the confidence. So our recognizer is trying to recognize the text, the speech. That's why it's, it's trying. It's trying like different uh, different models and that kind of so you can see what's happening actually in the background so this show all parameter is really helpful especially if your speech is like ununderstandable for the recognizer instead of returning an error message if you add show all you will s you will be able to see what is the machine uh, understanding or not understanding <laughs> so this is this is something really cool that you should use also in your recognizer all right something else it's called multiple speakers this is also something you can practice yourself all right if you can if you have different audio files for different speakers I mean different people speaking so if you run this line you will be able to uh, recognize each person's uh, speech and then when printing it's gonna print speaker number one speaker number two speaker number three and then what they have said in the audio so yeah, there should be a space over here. Okay, cool. So, and let's go down. Background noise. This is something you can use too. It it helps with cleaning the background noise of your audio. So, let's say we want to use it over here. We can still add it right over here so
So it cleans the noise in the background. Go ahead. Let's run this line. And then we are getting the audio file, we are recording it, and then we salt. Okay, let's run this line. Yeah. Since our audio is short and clear, it doesn't really affect the result, but you can try with different audio files and see how it works for you. So that was that's it for this video. So if you if you have questions or concerns where you are running the program, you can contact me through my blog and you can leave a comment if you want to this video. But if you contact me through my blog that's the best way to reach me and yeah I just shared my YouTube video in this article and yeah that's that's it for for this video and I'm making videos for each article I'm publishing so if you want to check my other articles, you can go to Medium. You can, I will add my profile to the description. So you will be able to find me on Medium and you can check my other articles. So mostly about data science and machine learning. So yeah yep we did it perfect i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new and i will keep posting this kind of tutorial videos every week so i hope to see you in the next video enjoy enjoy your week and see you thank you bye